Hello world, it's a peach eye supreme, Soti Wong here. This video is long overdue because I've been in isolation mode. That's a habit I need to kick out of my life. I tend to isolate myself and hide away from the world, stop posting on social media whenever I think that I don't have anything significant going on in my life. Some of you already know that I quit my job at GoDaddy. Two reasons why I quit my job. One, I couldn't handle the night shift anymore. It was taking a toll on my health and my sanity. And I was burnt out from being on the phones. It felt very restricting and I just couldn't thrive in there anymore. My supervisor said that I should create my own opportunities and he saw that I was a very good, outstanding, excellent troubleshooter and that I needed the least amount of help and assistance from him and my team. However, I didn't sell as much as my other team members but I got the second highest customer service rating on my team and that's because I am a very honest and truthful person. I believe in empowering people, customers, whoever with resources and knowledge to help them make better informed decisions on their own. And I didn't believe in selling people things that they didn't really need. What I'm doing now is driving for a lift. Now, it took me about two weeks to fully commit to driving for a lift. I was just lazy and I kept replaying a fear of, of what will happen if I did drive. Um, I could get in an accident. I have to pay for gas, the wear and tear on my car, but I can't really choose not to because I don't have anything else going on for me. It took a while to muster the willpower to drive for Lyft. Now what helped me was creating a habit, a daily habit of just driving for two to three hours every morning. Consistently, consistently, consistently. Through that consistent habit, I worked my way up to four, five hours, waking up early at 4.30 in the morning for the past two weeks now. And I've been making a lot more money through Lyft. Now, if you have any questions about being a Lyft driver, feel free to shoot them my way and I will do my best to answer those questions. I also have a lot of debt and I am two, almost three pay cycles behind on my credit cards and I'm going to be late on my car payment as well. I have about 120k more than that, actually, in debt. And that is a lot of damn debt. Because of my low income and that debt, my dreams, pursuing my dreams, has slowed down. I can't afford the acting coaching that I was receiving, and just my opportunities are limited right now. Although I am not stopping, I am still taking steps towards my dreams, whether it be um, attending casting calls, submitting resumes, submitting headshots, speaking, all of that. I'm taking at least one action a day. No matter what it is, I need to take it to keep going and moving forward because I am not stopping. I'm waiting 
to start a job for Waymo at the end of the month as a operator slash tester. If you don't know what Waymo is, it's Google's self-driving car company. They're doing tests in Chandler and Tempe. There's the early rider adoption program. So if you want to sign up to be an early rider, you can. They are in their testing phase. It's been about a year and hopefully within another year they'll be fully public and there'll be a lot more self-driving cars on the road. What do you think about self-driving cars? Personally, I think it is a good step forward because humans are a lot stupider than robots. Last week I got to talk to my ex-success coach Dom Fawcett. I told him what was going on in my life. I said that I was pursuing that job with Waymo that's going to pay me $20 an hour which to me is the highest that I have ever been paid in my life and he said hold up you are worth more you've got a, a master's degree prior military what's going on what's up and that got me to think about my self-worth what am I really worth to the world and even though I have a vision of my future and what I want to obtain I don't have the that present or immediate vision of myself as being a lot more valuable to the world than I see myself currently and that's what I need to embrace is my value, my skills, my talents, my experiences, all create me, the supreme me. And I just need to show it to the world, believe it, see it, do it, move it, yeah, just do it, yeah, yeah, just do it. So that's what I got going on in my life. I will not quit on my dreams. I will keep moving forward one step at a time. You know me, I'm gonna get it. You see a peace.